product and it's a product that I think is worthy of um, a short video on its own because the normal route for most people is to use a cassette tape to install your software and it, as everybody knows it's quite slow, it's quite laborious and can be quite unreliable. I mean cassette tapes such as these now are getting quite rare, quite hard to get hold of and when you do get them you have problems with bands, you have problems with motors, you have problems with the azimuth not putting out the right frequencies or being at the right angle to the tape, you have tone controls and it can be a minefield of trying to get cassette software installed from one of these. Now I'm quite lucky because this is a brand new old stock tape drive which I have and I've used it half a dozen times or so on um, my machines at the moment and it's perfect but not everybody is that lucky and I was lucky enough to find that it's not something that you would normally find hanging around but most people will have to deal with old cassette drives such as the one here which um, if anybody knows the kind of WH Smith style cassette recorder it was a very cheap rebranded and rebadged by WH Smith as a data recorder especially for the Sinclair range and so on and it worked but that was nearly 40 years ago um, and if you've got one now which I have and it's awful it f it's basically fallen apart it's um, not reliable not really good enough to use so what we're going to look at today is one of these and it's specifically designed for the MSX computers and it's something that I think that every user of or every owner of an MSX computer should really be looking into kind of keeping or using or replacing their cassette deck with at some point or other because remember cassette software is getting very volatile now it's more reliable than floppy disks but it's still getting old and prone to snapping and if one of these old cassette drives one of these old tape drives decides to stop spooling or be a bit rough on its rewind and so on or the stop mechanism doesn't work it can snap tapes and that's all of your precious software and your vintage software basically in the bin so let's take a look at one of these this is the drive itself. It's um, very nicely put together. So I bring it close to the camera. You can see some nice detailing on the case with the MSX logo. And also it has some nice cassette record or cassette tape detailing here. Now the actual feel and the texture of um, this module which is 3d printed is very very good and it's a really nice printed package you have your USB connector for your power and you also have your two sockets to connect it to your MSX computer via the cassette lead okay so it's a cassette replacement okay and on the front you have a little slot for your SD card your micro SD card now the buttons themselves they act and have a nice action to them they've been again 3d printed and uh, they do feel quite nice to the way they've actually been done so they feel like proper tactile buttons on the front which is very nice I mean the whole design of this is actually very well thought out very well planned and very well executed I really don't have a, a bad thing to say about the way this module looks I don't have uh, um, any complaints about the way it feels so I hope this is my first time using it I hope it doesn't have any 
issues when we use it. But I've got a feeling with the amount of time and effort that's gone into this, it's going to be as good as it looks. Now, there's the unit sat on the Toshiba MSX, and you say it's quite small. It's a lot smaller than the actual cassette drive would be, and also it's not as wide as the cartridge would be. It's, it's you know, it's about a centimetre in width less than a normal cartridge would be. So it's a very small unit. And it's, um, so it doesn't really look out of place, especially if you put it down the side of your machine. But just for, you know, reference, I've put it on the top so you can have a good look at it. Now this system um, to, oh, to give it a really fair go is to use a brand new cassette lead, which is what I have here. And you can see it's still in its kind of kinks from the packaging. And um, so I'm going to give it as fair a review as possible. So how do you get your data onto it? Well, the easy bit really is use a modern computer. And on a modern Windows PC, all you need to do is copy your LZH files, which are the ones here, and you just drop it drag and drop them onto your SD card and it's as simple as that. If you have items that need to be unpacked such as this Bomberman disk image then uncompress it first and that's as easy as it gets. There's no messing about, there's no messing with extra software or anything like that with a Windows PC you just drop it straight on and it only takes minutes to do that. Now, as you can see here, there are many different formats of the downloads you can get. As I said, you can bring the LZH files down or your zip files, but you need to uncompress them or convert them. Or you could search for basically CAS files, um, such as this Donkey Kong one here. And then you literally drag that directly to the folder that you want to use for your SD card. So. Everything else, such as RAR, ZIP, LZH, and so on, will need to be unpacked first. But also remember, there's various different ways of loading software onto an MSX, and that depends on whether it's a binary, a basic program, or an ASCII. So always make sure that you know which one you're trying to load onto an msx before you try and do it otherwise it just won't do anything at all once you've got your file you just drag it into literally drag it into the folder you want which on this occasion will be your micro sd card now back to the machine itself the all, all you have to do is connect your cassette lead uh, into the unit itself and the only addition you have to have is a standard USB charger or USB PowerPoint. Okay once you have your USB PowerPoint all you need to do is plug it in and you will get a nice MSX screen and then you all you do is you get your volume and again navigating the volume is really simple you just flick up and down on these buttons And then once you've navigated to the program you want, all you have to do is load it in the normal way and then press play on this device. So that's as simple as it gets. So let's see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to use is use that Donkey Kong file. So we have to run the cassette file or the CAS file. Okay, and then all you do then is you take your MSX emulated tape drive, which is here, and what you do is you select Donkey Kong. Then once you press return on the MSX, you, all you do is press the play button here. Now it's playing and you should see it start to load the game or whichever file you want it loading. There we go, found Kong, and it's on its way. So rather than sit here for the next few minutes, um, I'm just going to pause the video and then jump to it as soon as it's loaded. 
and there we have it one successful loading of Donkey Kong on the new MSX SD tape drive which is brilliant I mean it works really well I mean, so so far every game or every program that I've actually tried on it uh, which has been saved as the in the cast format has worked spot on and as you can see by this it's fine it runs fine this is Donkey Kong on the MSX so this is a nice piece of kit for anybody who has an MSX. There are no problems with it whatsoever. It reads SD cards every time. It reads cassette files every time. I haven't had one fail yet. And um, it's quite a joy to use. The design of the case is really nice. The logo on the case with the MSX in white is a really nice touch and it uses an engine which has been used on a lot of other cassette emulators but it works in such a way that it's almost seamless with the computer itself. It's a nice addition to have to anybody's MSX computer and it saves a lot of hassle especially trying to get old cassettes working. So what do I think of this? Well I kind of uh, you might be guessing that I think it's quite a nice piece of design um, and you'd be right because it is. Um, I had one of this company's products before and um, it was for the Sharp MZ700 and I actually thought that was really well done and I couldn't praise it enough but this the MSX version of the cassette drive is an absolute cracking piece of kit and as I said all the way through this is I like the design of it the design looks good it's been well thought out and um, you know it's not often in kind of the retro scene where you get something that's been thought out a little differently it's not a project box as such it's been specially designed to complement your computer or your MSX and um, with it being black as well it'll run with any machine and uh, with it using standard micro SD cards it's more than capable of holding your entire volume of software for an MSX on a single card and you can't really get better than that and it saves all of your precious tapes for a long time to come so they will be working further down the road and that's always a good thing because they are getting a little bit more volatile as their age increases so if you've got some of these cassettes seal them up in a plastic container and keep them for longevity once you've converted them or downloaded the versions and put them onto one of these so it's a great piece of kit I'd say if you've got an MSX go and buy one and um, make your life a little bit easier with your retro computing I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll put the link to where you can get hold of one of these at the bottom uh, in the description field and um, please support people who are making new products for classic machines because it's going to keep them viable for longer and without your support we wouldn't be able to keep these machines going so thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe and I hope to see you again on this channel shortly thank you bye bye